The not-for-profit organisation DARE is uh, taking its service to women and children to a new level. Now, DARE stands for Domestic Abuse Recovery Education, and they're opening a new drop-in centre for victims and survivors of domestic abuse with help from the Moreton Bay Council. But they have a little bit of a problem. I need a helping hand in the next uh, couple of months. And hopefully that's where you and me can help out. Now, Karen Johns is the CEO of DARE. Good afternoon, Karen. A, a rather exciting time for you. Good afternoon, how are you? <laughs> how unique is this project, this drop-in centre? Uh, as far as I know, it's the first one of its kind in Australia nothing else like this anywhere else. So what makes it so different to other similar services perhaps and that might be offered when it comes to helping survivors of domestic abuse? A lot of the other agencies that are around are, have restrictions on them for starters about you know hugging and giving support and whatnot and they work on a, an appointment basis with us they can just come in and they can stay there the whole day. It's totally secure, it will be safe, it's swipe entry, it's keypad locked, uh, we have cameras everywhere, and they can just come and sit down. It'll be operated by the Body of Christ, so we have DV chaplains there, and all we do is give them a hug, we support them, uh, we listen to their story, we offer them a safe place to stay, we explain what domestic violence is to them, and when they're ready, we all we do is give them information, tell them how the services work, so we tell them what DV Connect does, where they can go to get counselling, how the system actually works. So then it kind of takes away that fear and that trepidation about they don't know what help is available or who's mm. going to help them or where they should go. We help them navigate the system and find that next step. So tell me more about what you've been given, a, a physical location, a, 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 sh have. a shop front, and, and how all that came about. We are currently up at Old Petrie Town. We have a shop up there. Uh, it's called Our company is called Dare Formal Wear and people donate wedding and formal dresses to us and we sell them. And that's how we fundraise for our domestic violence support work. We have grown massively over the last three years. And so that place is getting quite too small for us. So we applied for a community lease through the Moreton Bay Council and we didn't get it. But once we spoke to the councillors down at the Moreton Bay Shire and told them, they were just blown away with the work that we do and the possibilities of how many women we can actually help in our, in our area. North Brisbane, we're open to everybody. And uh, so they went and took one of their uh, properties that they have on a commercial lease and uh, they put it onto a community lease and they just gave it to us. And so we have now have our frontage opposite Hungry Jacks and Gympie Road at Strathpine. And, but what we've got to do now is fit it out because it's basically just 440 metres squared in empty space <laughs> and we have to now um, get the flooring done, put the walls in, make a, a, a safe room basically but of course put in uh, toilet facilities, plumbers, electricians, we've got to have it all done. 96.5 and I'm with the Karen Johns, the CEO of DARE, Domestic Abuse Recovery Education. And the not-for-profit group is setting up a drop-in centre, as you've just heard, thanks very much to the Moreton Bay Council. Now, a unique feature of this new drop-in centre, which you just touched on a few moments ago, is a panic room. Yes. Tell me more about that. Well, unfortunately, you know, it, it, that we actually need to have one, um, but... I've been working in this area now for the last three years with DARE and we know that ICE is such a big epidemic in our society and um, we hear, you know, last year 71 women were killed um, at the hands of a man through domestic violence and I don't know exactly the, the stats there on how many were actually ICE addicts or whatnot but so what we're going to do is have a panic room there, it will be bulletproof, um, you won't be able to access it except through the um, whoever the manager is at the time and it's just to make sure that everybody is safe and we're safe inside until the police can get there. Now look, you've come this far, which is, it was absolutely amazing, so you've got the faith and belief that you'll get what you need uh, to, to bring it all together in the, in the months to come? Oh, definitely. You know what? Even this belongs to God. It doesn't belong to me. So I'm just, I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> now, before the doors can officially open, and, and which date are you hoping that will be, by the way, Karen? Look, I pick up the keys at 3 o'clock this afternoon. 
Look, the shop will be open within the next couple of weeks, but the drop-in centre will depend on the community and the community support and help that we've got. I would like to see it. Uh, you know what? It would be great if it was open before the end of the year because Christmas is the worst time of the year for domestic violence. Mm. And so it would be wonderful to be able to open up over Christmas time and actually have these women uh, come when they're scared, like this is for survivors as well. So young women come who have left already and they've decided to stay with mum, but mum and dad are at work and they want it, they need somewhere safe to be. We would like to have it done by Christmas, but the reality is it's probably be going to be early 2018, unless a miracle happens. People listening this afternoon are tradies, uh, people who have skills when it comes to uh, fitting out shops and things like that, if they'd like to put a, a few hours towards a very worthy cause what's the best way for people like that to get in touch with you to say yep count me in you know what they can go onto our web page and they can contact me through that as well and the phone number is there we are on facebook so dare form aware is on facebook and if, if, if people just message straight through to me there i am the response at the other end it's a great initiative looking forward to it becoming a reality hopefully if a miracle takes place and we're all in for that uh, by the end of this year new drop-in center for dare domestic abuse recovery education and uh, karen johns the ceo of dare thanks for joining me on brisbane's 96.5 this afternoon and may you be swamped with uh, generous offers of people's time and skills and and materials to help domestic abuse victims mate thank you so much arthur i so appreciate that Hope worth...